So this week, we're going to take you on 10 essential items that are good for safety for you to have on board your RV or travel trailer. Yep, so come check out our items. A crucial part of staying at campgrounds is protecting your coach from power surges and making sure that you have power regulation. So what we have is, as you can see here, we have a surge protector that has a delay so that if there's a surge going into it, it doesn't go straight to our coach and it protects the electrical system if something happens while we're out or even while we're home, dampens that no electrical issues will happen to the coach. Another important safety issue, and maybe even the most important before you start even doing anything, is a good pair of gloves. A lot of people have regular gloves, which is great, or kitchen, um, like the old dishwashing gloves. I have a textured black glove. It's powder free, and it's got little grippers, so it's what mechanics or doctors or EMTs use so that they can have some feel while they're still working, but protection. One of the safety items that we like to have for our coach are leveling pads. So we have a couple different ways that we do it, especially in different situations we have. We have a plastic one um, with a rubberized pad. Uh, we use those most of the time. And then we also got a couple of wood planks, which we use when we're parked in dirt. Another safety item, uh, we were very concerned about tire pressure for our RV. Uh, we watched quite a few videos, decided to go with Easy Tire. It's a great system that we use on the road uh, while we're going down. Uh, it is connected to all of our tires on the RV and it is also connected with to our Jeep tires as well. It's a great little system. Um, it just gives you the um, reassurance that while you're on the road, you can check and monitor the pressure on your tires at all times. We heard about uh, Easy Tire from RV Geeks. Uh, they did a great video about it. We'll post it up above and uh, so you can link on there. Uh, but they do a great tutorial on how to set it up. An other object, we've already taken care of the power, but what about water? We want to make sure we don't have too much water pressure coming into the coach. So we do a pressure regulator. This here has the water coming in from the campsite. It makes sure it doesn't go over a certain PSI and it keeps us from having too much pressure in the water lines and causing a major issue. So that's also important and also a good safety thing. So another great safety item to have uh, while you're going down the road for your refrigerator is a safety bar and actually multiple ones for multiple levels on your shelves on your refrigerator. So just make sure you have these in place. It's They're great. Uh, what happens is things can shift you don't want that to happen. So with these in place, it helps prevent it tremendously. But it's not gonna be 100%, so please make sure that once you get to your destination, you open the fridge slowly, just to make sure nothing is falling. So your refrigerator, keeping everything cool, you don't want your food to spoil. So this safety item is fantastic. It's a thermometer system, but it's a warning thermometer system. So one of these goes in both the refrigerator and the freezer, and then it reads the temperatures and the outside temperature on this display. And if, if it goes above the settings that you set it at, then a warning beep goes off to alert you that something's wrong with the temperature and maybe your power. So if you have a pet on board, Something that um, a lot of people don't think about to do, uh, especially if you leave the coach and your pet is still left at the RV, is having a sign. Uh, we put a sign in our window. It's something we got when we first got the RV. People have noticed it and loved it. Um, it's just a quick card that says, there's an emergency. Um, just to let you know there's a pet inside. We took an extra step and put our phone number on there as well so people could give us a call. A very important thing to have is if you don't have a safe, or even if you do have a safe on board, you may want to get one of these. It's a fireproof, waterproof security bag. It has a lock that I installed myself, and you keep all your important documents in it, like passports and anything else that you may need. It can be safe in here in case there's a unfortunate accident. At least, hopefully, this bag will be one of the few things that'll survive. Hopefully, that it never comes to it, but it's a nice safety issue just to have. So one of our reach items, which we just got and we're very excited about, is a soft water system. So a lot of the campgrounds, we've already taken care of pressure, but we're worried about 
too much hard water into the lines, causing residue and also an issue for your hot water heater over time. So we have a soft water system and the water comes in, it goes through a quick salt process and then out. We have our filter after because we want the water cleaned and then it goes through the filter and into the coach. So it's a nice thing to have and it's a reach item, but it's something over the time to look into. Another item Ann and I feel is an important safety item, not everyone agrees, but we think it is, is a walkie talkie. It helps us when we're parking so that she can help direct me and not hit anything a big important safety issue, but also when we're filling the tanks or doing a black tank flush, she can let me know, hey Ann, is the freshwater tank almost full? Turn it off, it's full. It's important for safety and for harmony as a couple. So those are our safety items that we think are important for you to have on your RV as well as for us. One item that we don't have yet, but we're thinking about getting in the future, hopefully the very near future, is a weather alert radio. So you can see if there's any kind of major storm, hurricane, tornado, flash flood, who knows, locusts, we can find out what's going on from that weather alert radio and it works regardless of where your signal is. So that's on our wish list. Thanks for watching our items that we feel are safety, concerns and that everybody should think about having at least some of them if not all of them again please subscribe we put the links for all the items we can in the description on the youtube channel thank you everybody